Hi, it's Jeff here from Rhinoco Technology, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of the menu structure of the VIP Vision Network Video Recorders. Now, this video is going to be shot on shot using an NVR 8 Pro 6 and 8 Channel Professional Series Network Video Recorder from VIP Vision. However, the menu system is very similar across all machines, so it will relate to most, most recorders. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just right click and then I'm going to select Main Menu. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to log in. By default, the username and password is 68. So, we're just going to go, go through the menus and, and what they mean. So, the first thing uh, that you'll see at the top here is operation. So, the operations refer to anything that the recorder you're going to use the recorder for on a, on a daily basis or whenever you use the recorder. So, the first thing in this list is search. So, search is going to be uh, used to show playback. Uh, from any given date of the footage that's on the recorder. The, this is uh, obviously a menu that's used quite often. The next thing that you've got in this list is Smart Play. Now Smart Play is used to retrieve footage from uh, smart events such as uh, video tripwire or face detection or um, intrusion detection, that sort of thing. The next one that you've got in the menu here is Backup. Now Backup is used if you're looking to back up a large chunk of footage and you already know the date and time that you're looking to back up. Um, if, you're not, if you don't know the date and time you're looking to back up, you're going to actually be using either Search or Smart Play to find, find the recording footage. Shutdown um, is, if you take a look in here, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. You can either shut down the recorder, log out, or restart the recorder. Um, logging out is probably what most people do. You're often you're not often going to want to shut your recorder down, but you often want to log out to make sure that no one can um, change settings on your recorder on you. If we right click to get back, uh, the next menu that you look down, if you take one step down, is your your info menu. So, info uh, relates to any information that the machine is storing, which is not directly related to the footage on the machine. So, um, for instance, in, in the system section, we've got hard disk information, uh, your bit rates, um, your uh, essentially camera resolutions and things like that. They're going to be shown in this section here. Uh, in the events section, it's going to be showing events that have been triggered either from cameras or from the recorder. So, for instance, uh, alarm inputs or possibly um, hard disk issues or, or that sort of thing. Next thing on the list is going to be network. So network will show you any any uh, network settings that the machine, um, whatever set up on the machine. In addition to showing you throughput, network throughput, um, and allowing you to ping things. The next thing that you've got on this list here is log. So log will show you any of the log files that the NVR is keeping with regards to um, showing things like um, any time that the NVR is rebooted or possibly any time someone's logged in or out of the machine. Uh, that's that's all in the log file. Um, so the next thing, if we, if we take one step down from there, looking at settings. So setting is anything that you'll change on the machine to ver vary the way that it does its recording um, or the way that it's accessed remotely. So first thing that we've got on the list is camera. Now camera allows you to set your remote settings for the cameras, your encode settings, so your bit rate, uh, your resolution, etc. Next thing on the list is network. So this allows us to set our IP address for the recorder, um, ports, enable P2P, that sort of thing. Next thing in your list is event. So event allows you to set up what happens on events, either triggered on the recorder or from cameras. So for instance, like we are saying before, an alarm event or possibly um, an event from a, a hard disk or possibly a video motion or even a tripwire event. Um, it controls, controls what happens um, when an event is triggered. The next thing you've got on the list is storage. So storage shows you and allows you to configure your hard disks and how your hard disks are set up to record. So you can, for instance, um, stop them from overwriting. Um, you can set up, uh, set them up to um, only allow maybe 30 days worth of recorded footage. You can also change which hard drives record which cameras um, when you're recording story, uh, motion detection versus when you're recording live um, uh, full-time recording or IVS recording. And the final one in this list here is system. So this is basically anything that doesn't fit into the categories that's a setting that, that I mentioned earlier. So uh, modifying things like display setup, um, date and time, um, various things like firmware updates for the recorder if you want to do that. Um, everything is, is in the system section here. So 
we'll do a number of videos to go go over each one of those sections. Um, but this is just a brief overview of, of the three main sections here. So operation, info, and setting. Um, and yeah, ex we'll explain further in later videos. Thanks.